Welcome students here I am Dr. Amjad Ali in this video we will learn about uh, an auto correlation test that is known as Dermo Watson test DW which is normally known as DW test a test of auto correlation or serial correlation deduction dear students as we know that one of the main assumption of OLS is that the covariance between the two error is equal to zero. This means two errors are not correlated to one another. Two errors are independent to each other. But if two errors are correlated to each other, the covariance between the two errors is not is equal to zero and two errors somehow equal to each other are two errors are not independent of each other so this is known as autocorrelation and the concept of autocorrelation graphically and the and the definition or interpretation point of view has been discussed in a separate video so in this video we will uh, learn the deduction of autocorrelation with the help of durbin watson test okay DW, the most frequently used statistical test for the presence of serial correlation or autocorrelation is DW test, which is developed by Durbin and Boston in 1950s, which is valid when the following assumptions are met. Like first one is the regression model includes a constant. Normally, uh, when we drive the formulas of uh, multiple regression sometimes the multiple regression do not include a constant term separately in this case we cannot apply durbin watson test for uh, uh, for the deduction of autocorrelation number two serial correlation is assumed to be first order only when we are talking about the serial correlation or autocorrelation in first order, this means two consecutive observations are correlated. When two consecutive observations are not correlated or serially correlated, so this is uh, this is known as a higher or second order or higher order. Uh, serial correlation but when two consecutive observation are correlated this is known as first order serial correlation or autocorrelation number three the equation does not include a lag dependent variable as explanatory variable sometimes we use dependent variable uh, dependent variables lag as an explanatory variable and find its lag impact on dependent variable so when we use the dependent variable as a lagged value for explanatory variable purpose then we cannot apply DW test for the deduction of autocorrelation okay let we have a model y t is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x 2 t plus beta 3 x 3 t plus so on beta k x k t plus u t so see here we have a constant term including a constant term and we suppose that this uh, autocorrelation if there is an autocorrelation this autocorrelation is the first order autocorrelation and see here we do not include a lagged value of dependent variable if, if y t is included uh, here as a y t minus 1 so this is known as lagged dependent variable as an explanatory variable so three assumptions are fulfilled in this case now with the help of this equation you can find the series of ut so uh, like uh, uh, we know that uh, uh, with the help of this equation we find the estimated And we know that error u t is equal to y t minus 
y t hat so i have to put t here so <clears throat> with the help of this we find a series of ut see here we have ut u1 u2 so so this is our ut series so you have to find the <coughs> ut series because uh, dw test is focusing on the error term okay when you have a series of ut here now run the regression line and taking lagged value of ut you have a ut series and now this suppose this series as a dependent and include ut sorry ut minus 1 as independent variable and here rho is is presenting as a parameter okay on this regression line auxiliary regression line here you have a ut uh, another error this is a white nice error term okay now build your or develop your hypothesis the null hypothesis is that rho is equal to 0 the dw involve the following steps if you are uh, can, uh, you are using this equation for finding the auto correlation now the first step is estimate the model by using the ols and obtain the residual series which we have discussed in our previous slide like this we have generate a series step 2 calculate the dw statistic by using this formula d is equal to summation d is uh, the time period started from t minus t is equal to 2 till n so here we have ut hat minus ut hat minus 1 the lagged value square so divided by summation ut square so this process will be will be going on you have to find this is your dependent variable this is your independent variable ut is your dependent variable ut minus 1 is your independent variable so you have to find uh, u hat and then <clears throat> you have to find again another ut minus 1 here is hat so this ut uh, ut hat ut hat is equal to we have to find it that ut is equal to ut hat so this is your uh, you can say the actual variable and this is your estimated so carry on with this step 3 so step 3 construct a table in brooks this type of table has given that if your uh, answer lies between 0 to dl we have a positive auto correlation if we have a answer 4 minus dl to 4 this is known as negative auto correlation and the and the values of dl du can be find uh, with the help of table which will which will be discussed in later and uh, uh, the number of independent variable decide the value of dl and du and if your outcome is near to 2 if your outcome is near to 2 we can say that there is no auto correlation and if there your your, your answer is lies between dl and du value then um, then we can conclude that this is a inconclusive area and if the answer lies 4 minus du 4 minus dl then we can also see, say that uh, this is an inconclusive area in brooks book this type of 
uh, table has been constructed in another book this type of interpretation has been given for this table okay step 4 step 4 a we have to find uh, positive autocorrelation and negative autocorrelation so that's why we uh, we uh, separated uh, our uh, step 4 into step 4 a and step 4 b so step 4 a to test the positive serial correlation or autocorrelation the hypothesis are null hypothesis rho is equal to 0 no autocorrelation rho is greater than 0 there is a positive autocorrelation okay if d is less than or equal than dl we reject h naught and conclude in favor of positive autocorrelation but if d is greater than or equal than du we cannot reject h naught and therefore there is no positive autocorrelation so keep in mind we are discussing about only positive autocorrelation so that's why if this type of outcome is come then we can say that there is no positive autocorrelation in the third a special case where dl is less than d and d is less than du the test is inconclusive we have given in the table that if the answer lies like that step 4 b part to test the negative serial correlation the null hypothesis are developed as h naught rho is equal to 0 no autocorrelation and alternative hypothesis rho is less than 0 there is negative autocorrelation so if d is greater than 4 minus dl we reject h naught and conclude in favor of negative autocorrelation and if d is less than or equal than 4 minus du we cannot reject h naught and therefore there is no negative serial correlation in third case in a special case where 4 minus du is less than d and d is less than 4 minus dl the test is considered inconclusive the inconclusiveness of the dw test comes from the fact that the small sample distribution for the dw statistic depends on the x variables you can say the explanatory variables and it is difficult to determine in general a preferred testing procedure if you have a small sample size then you can rely on lm test rather than dw test for finding or for the detection of autocorrelation in your error term okay there are few rules of rule of thumb for the autocorrelation so normally if we can say the simple rule of thumb there if your uh, if your uh, dw value is near to 2 or 2 we can conclude there is no autocorrelation issue and as much lower than uh, dw value we can conclude that there is autocorrelation it may be positive or negative okay rho is equal to 0 and dw is equal to 2 this is the case where there is no autocorrelation in the residual or error term so roughly speaking the null hypothesis would not be rejected if dw is near to 2 that is there is a little evidence of autocorrelation but if rho is equal to 1 and dw is equal to 0 this corresponds to the case where there is a perfect positive autocorrelation in the residual if rho is e rho estimated rho is equal to minus 1 and dw is equal to 4 this corresponds to the case where there is a perfect negative autocorrelation in the residual so these uh, these are uh, three rule of thumb for the uh, autocorrelation uh, when we are detecting the autocorrelation with respect to dw diagonal western test okay the table for the dw uh, 
for the DW test for DU and DL. Okay, it is the number of independent or explanatory variable which decide the value of DL and DU. Moreover, so keep it in mind that uh, number of independent variable and number of observation decide the value of DL and DU. So see, if we have a one independent variable and 15 observation, then DL and DU value will become L. And if we have a two independent variable, then uh, and a number of observation is 25, then DL and DU value come L. So as we increase the number of independent variable, the DL or DU value will become in the form of the Okay, we include uh, this table for the sample uh, so that you can understand how can we compare DL and DU value in this table particular. Here we have a DL and DU value, put the value of DL. If we have a one independent variable with the 15 observation, then we put the uh, DL value here and DU value there and then uh, 4 minus D, DU value and 4 minus DL value. So this is your exp uh, explanatory variable and your uh, number of observation which decide the value of DL and DU value and uh, moreover this table is known as durban western statistic lower and upper critical value for the durban western test so this is all about the durban western test for detection of autocorrelation okay see you with another video ciao